It's cruel, I tell you. That's all this is. What's cruel, Mr. Heinrich? Blaming Eugen for what happened to the windmill lass. I must confess, I'd rather it be a witch than a neighbor. I wouldn't go that far, but Eugene wouldn't. You, Mr. Heinrich? That serpent you pulled out of the fountain, Elise. Folks couldn't do such a thing. Wouldn't you say it crawled into the fountain by itself? Not likely. Whatever's happening in Kieferberg is starting to compromise our livelihood, and we can't have that. You must make the most out of these patrols, that's what. Even they're starting to consider this witch nonsense. Ah, Miss Ariani, I was meaning to ask you. Is it Miss Mershtild? She says she needs you to help her out again tonight, yes. The poor thing, old age truly doesn't forgive, does it? Where did this start, Miss Ariani? Oh, just last week, at least. I caught her trying to wash her sheets by the well, you see. She could have asked me. Miss Mershtild's rather stubborn, you know that. Tell her I'll be there right after supper. All right, Miss Ariani. Reminds me of when I had to do everything for Granny Hole. I'm glad to see there's some cheer left in you, Elizabeth. I have much to thank you for, Miss Marielle. You do look better, Miss Elizabeth. You spent a couple hours at Miss Marielle's, you see. I know you could use some time away from these goings-on. I must say, however, I'm a little fearful myself, too. You, Miss Marielle? Folks are losing their wits, Elise. We were sewing for the festival, and even then... Every conversation led back to the crows or Apfel or the fountain. I see. Thinking ill of each other, accusing each other. I've just about had it. It's good Miss Marielle still got it all together, huh? That absolutely will not do, Gustav. Roma's right. What we all need is someone to... What are you two pestering Mr. Gustav for? They're all valid concerns, ladies, but I ought to say... No, I don't think you understand, Gustav. You must make certain there's no witch in Kieferberg. I have a suggestion, Miss Elma. You throw folks off the cliff, see if they fly or not. Very funny, Elise. Glass is right, ladies, we must be reasonable here. Things can only get worse if we don't act now, Gustav. Things could get better too, Miss Elma. Oh, all you want is to be in Gustav's good books, Lassie. All I want, Miss Wilmot, is some peace and quiet around here for once. That's why we must find the witch, Lass. Good grief. I could hear the pain in Mr. Gustav's voice there. Did you find her, Elise? Miss Ariani said she'll come by right after supper, Miss Marshchild. Thank you, Elise. Here's something for you. Ah, so purse. You don't have to, Miss Marshchild. Oh, it's the least I can do, my dear. There will come a day where I truly won't be able to do anything after all. Miss Marshchild. There's nothing much to say, is there? Folks drained it to get a proper look, I'd wager. You don't look so well, Miss Dorothea. Oh, at least. I can't come to terms with it. 
Father Hans has cancelled all my classes this week. What for? He insists the boys are to rest until the festival. It's not his worst decision, I suppose. Yet you understand my frustration, don't you, Elise? Their daily readings are an important part of their day. It's only for two days, Miss Dorothea. Oh, you don't understand. It's not that big of a deal, but she does look rather dejected, huh? I gotta go get the apple strudel. That is slightly expensive. The lip kitchen. I see. I still need. Yeah, since I'm up here, might as well. No, there's no. There's no fireflies during this time of day. Okay, after the windmill. I do have to find something to reach that thing in the hole, though. I wonder what that's gonna be. There she is. Spend some time. You were right, Elise. It really is a lovely view. You've seen better on your travels, I wager. Oh, but Kieferberg is one of the nicest towns I've been to. Huh. Trying to vex me, are you? I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to. <sighs> I know you didn't, Rosa Marine. I'm fed up with it is all. With Kieferberg? All this nonsense we're dealing with, too. That said, I still haven't made up my mind about leaving it all behind somehow. Please. Please. I'm going to such lengths, and yet, I'd say doubting yourself is a good thing. You're different, Rosa Marine. You've always had something to look forward to, while I... Even so, Elise. I find myself thinking about certain things living here with you. Such as? I wish I'd found you sooner, and having the chance to share moments with you. Just the way Lepkachin and Freya do. You've only been here a few days, Rosa Marine. That you've been born here, you'd be just as sick of it as I am. I suppose, but... I never lived in a town. This sense of community is something I've never experienced. I've lived here all my life and never experienced it either, Rosa Marine. Not since Granny Hole passed away, at least. Hey, Rosa Marine, about the stars you keep mentioning. Uh, yes. ah, I can tell you all about it, Elise. Uh, 
Don't you find it strange? All this nonsense about your fate being with me. Not at all, Elise. I've said it before, you'll feel like home to me. Not at all, huh? I do wish I was born here, if I'm entirely honest. I've come all this way, and our paths have finally crossed yet. Me too, Rosemarine. I feel at home with you, like I have known you for a long time. Please. I must say, Kieferberg isn't as bad with you around. Why don't you give me your hand? You've read it once already, haven't you? I could be more thorough. It may bring you some peace of mind. Alright, alright. Rosamarine. You're my fated soulmate, Elise. Good grief, you've said that already. I know you still don't quite believe me, but... My feelings for you are genuine, Elise. You hardly know me, Rosamarine. Feelings can't possibly be. If they are, at least, they're very much genuine. You're so embarrassing. I wish we had more time to get to know each other, and... Even if this wasn't my fate, I would still choose to be with you, Elise. Rosamarine. Oh, Elise, yours are as a beat. Why, you... I've had it with all this nonsense. I'm heading back to work. Uh, yes. Ah, wait for me, Elise. Let's go check the creek tomorrow afternoon. For sake. I'll be there. Now hurry up. Would get apples. Eh, apples probably. Oh, and I gotta go check and see if there's any more fireflies about. Uh huh. Eek, uh, Elise! Why are you hiding here, Miffy? You saw nothing. I, I'm not here. I'm uh, at home sweeping, but making the beds. Heading from your aunt again, are you? Oh, but please don't tell her I ran off. She's working me like a donkey, Elise. Is that so? Sweeping, but watching clothes, cleaning out the chimney. Uh, I've had it, Elise. Miss Orly has always been demanding, I suppose. She's not demanding, she's w wicked. Wicked, you say? I do feel for poor Melly sometimes. Can't say I'm glad to hear that, lad. Hear what, Miss Elma? That I'm leaving last for good. I thought you'd stay, Mr. Eugen. Don't think so, unfortunately. I would leave too if I were your age and with these goings on. You, Miss Elma? Heferberg's changed, Lise. Things were different back in my day, more prosperous. Primaldorf has way more to offer young folk, that's for certain. Who'd have thought? It's no surprise this town is dying. Hi, Elise! What's the matter, Rosamarine? Folks have been looking at me all day, is all. I don't think they know. They don't know anything, Rosamarine. You can't forget you're still a stranger to Kieferberg. I don't remember getting these looks on Monday, Elise. You're worried because of what happened today, is all. I suppose. I better make certain I don't raise any suspicion. Whoa! We're not dealing with regular folk here. 
Oh, but what if it's not folk we're dealing with, Mr. Bernhard? Lord knows what could happen to Kieferberg at this rate. Too much to keep track of, folks. The horses, that fell, our green being riddled with weevils, and now this flooding? I must say, I'm at a loss myself. You, Mr. Gustav? All of Kieferberg is confused, Elise. Rather than confused, I'd say. That we're rather defeated. You're everything but defeated, Elise. Lass is right, Bunchildy. Now, I wouldn't say she's right, Gustav. We've been slowly giving in to this witch, haven't we? Take inspiration from Elise herself. Oh, I'm not sure I'd go that far, Mr. Gustav. She did rescue Apfel, that's for certain. We have much to learn from the lass. You may be right, Gustav. We have to stand strong. Much to learn from the lass, huh? Covered in clusters of ivy, Keeper Brick's water bowl overlooks the valley down below. Um. Okay, no comment on how it's overflowing, huh? Okay. I wonder if I can go down in there while oh, they're just standing there. That'd be kind of weird. There she is, Apfel. Why don't you ask her? Ask me what? Apfel's going over what happened yesterday, Elise. He's rather tired, and... You saw her too, Elise. I know it. Who'd you see, Apfel? I didn't see anyone, Apfel. Oh, Elise, what are we to do about this? I saw her. She had yellow eyes, and I... You're tired, Apfel. I know it was frightening. I was frightened, too. Elise is right, Apfel. Best you rest now. Why don't you go play with Grun and Jacob? I think Apfel saw her, too. Oh dang, everything's overflowing. Let's keep calm, folks. Losing our tempers isn't going to fix anything. What's wrong with the fountain now? Could you have damaged it earlier, Elise? That could very much be the case. I don't think so, but even if she had, it wouldn't be enough to cause this. What are we to make of this, then, Heinrich? How am I to know such a thing? Not only the fountain, either. It's the well, also. How can a well overflow? I'm at a complete loss. Let us wait and see. I am not about to sit and wait for my home to be flooded. I must say, I don't agree, Father. It might be all we can do. It truly is all we can do, Heinrich. Losing our minds won't help. We must persevere. This isn't looking too good for us here in Heferberg, is it? I don't know what to think of all of this. That's what it's all about, I tell you. There's no such ill will in Kieferberg, Wilma. What's the matter? I'm certain he has something to do with it. Almost convinced someone's trying to sabotage her in, Elise. It's that Eugene, I'm certain. He's jealous my business is still up and running, that's what. Mr. Eugene? Are you aware of what you're saying, Miss Wilma? Clearly not, Elise. Wilma's letting all this get to her. Aren't we all, Marilyn? The folks are too afraid to name names, that's what. It's a matter of respect, Wilma. Respect for whom, the witch? What are we to do then, Wilma? It's best I shut my mouth before they turn on me. Talking to these folks is getting tricky, isn't it? There's not much on this back wall. Which is fine, because it's actually... For some reason, kind of a pain to go into. A new... 
I've never seen it overflow like this. Not even raining. Hmm, I wonder what underground looks like, though. Oh. What am I to do, Lepkachin? Give him time, Miss Elizabeth. That fellow's still struggling, is he? He's rather agitated, yes. That said, Elise, I have been meaning to ask you. That fellow insists you two saw someone else in those woods, alas, of all things. If I'm entirely honest, I still haven't found my own peace of mind, but... At least... I didn't see what Apfel claims to have seen, but... Given how frightened he was, he could have imagined it. That's true, but... Oh, I can't bear seeing him like this. It's supposed to be give him some space, Miss Elizabeth. Lying to them isn't easy, but... I just can't risk telling them the truth. Firefly hunting. Anything done by the forest? up here. Mango! Hmm. Go in here again. just a door. I don't have anything to do anything to the door. And on the right should only be nothing. Yeah. Okay, so there's nothing there. I need a way to open that door, but how? Okay, no fireflies. Uh, go get the apples, I guess. 